For 27 years, this has been Eunice Howard's home, a house she built with her late husband, now ripped apart. A moment here of community support that is replicated across this valley and beyond. Within 10 to 12 minutes, I hear the noise and I raise the window and I seen the water and I knew I had to get out of there. It was in the house and my building started coming out. I said, well, my house will be okay. <laughs> At that time, my house come out. It took about five minutes for that to happen, five to six minutes and it was gone from the time I got out of the house. Eunice's granddaughter wanted to show us the power of the water. So it's moved like two, three hundred metres. Because the house didn't used to be where it now sits. So these are the foundations? Yeah. My God. From above, it's clear. The foundations below and several hundred metres downstream, what's left of the Howard family home. It is one of so many destroyed by rains and floods that everyone here says they have never seen before. The state governor has been absorbing it all from the air. This is remote Kentucky, hard to reach, hard to help so many who have lost everything. The number known not to have made it continues to rise and devastating stories. Four children from the same family pulled from their parents' arms as they sought safety on the roof of a home which collapsed underneath them. Down the valley beyond Eunice's house, people salvaging what they can they will all need to start all over again. But this is still a rescue operation. As a major disaster, federal funding has been provided and personnel too. This is still an emergency situation. We are in search and, and rescue mode. But again, that, that count is going to continue to go up and we don't lose this many people in, in flooding. This is a real tough one. It is a sentiment you hear over and over now with so much extreme weather. This isn't normal. Mark Stone, Sky News in Hazard, Kentucky.